What is going on, everybody? Silver Scrounger here, and today is Wednesday, February 2nd. It's the second day of the second month of 2022. Whole lot of twos in there. So, today is Silver Dollar Day. Since we're going to be talking about the Morgan and the Peace Dollars, which we have right here. So far, in this series, we have looked at all the dimes, quarters, half dollars, and all but two designs of the dollar. And if you haven't seen them yet, you can check them out in my Constitutional Silver series list, which I will leave a link down below in the description. Today is part three of the silver dollar. And it's going to be a good one. So let's get to it. So, today, we are going to get into what is most arguably the most recognized, most popular, and most collected U.S. silver coins, the Morgan dollar and the Peace dollar. We're going to jump straight into it with the Morgan dollar, but first... This video and the Constitutional Silver series is sponsored by Royal Coins and Jewelry. If you're looking for some specific coins for a collection or trying to stack some silver or gold for the lowest cost, you really need to go check out Royal Coins and Jewelry. Their silver and gold prices are drastically lower than online dealers and even beat out competing shops. You can stop by the shop if you're in the Houston area or check out their website at RoyalCoins.com And yeah, I know, you're thinking, but Scrounger, any savings on the price, I'm just dumping into shipping. Well, you can forget about that nonsense. When you go check out, use my promo code SS. You'll get free first class shipping, a value of up to $6. I will leave a link to their website as well as their Instagram page down below in the description. So, from 1874 until February of 1878, there was no U.S. silver dollar coins minted. But the one dollar gold piece and the trade dollars were used to fill that hole. But in February of 1787, the Bland-Allison Act brought in the Morgan dollar. And I'm willing to bet that this single design is the most researched and studied U.S. coin out there, especially amongst numismatists. Got that word right this time. This design was steadily minted from 1878 through 1904, and then it was suspended due to exhausted supplies and low demand. Then, with the Pittman Act of 1918, over 270 million silver dollars were melted. That is a lot of silver. But the Morgan dollar was minted one last time in 1921. And it was for some time until the peace design came out. But we'll get into that one a little bit later. When it comes to prices on the Morgan dollars, there are several years and mint marks that draw a decent price. In fact, every year the Morgan was minted in Carson City draws a higher premium. And because of this, we will call out the top dollar coins and some of the lowest mintages as well. And the first significantly lower mintage, Morgan, is the 1881 
Carson City. There was only 296,000 of them made. It starts off near about $400 in a VF condition, but it really doesn't go much more than that from there. The 1883 San Francisco, however, is a very modest and affordable $30 in a VF. But the moment it crosses over into mint state condition, it jumps up to over $1,000 like that. Then you get to MS-65, $30,000. That's a big, big jump from an MS-60 at $1,000 to $30,000 in MS-65. Now, the 1885 Carson City is the third least minted of the Business Strike Morgans. And it'll cost you a quick $500 in that VF condition. But similar to the 1881 Carson City, the price does not move much in higher grades. But just one year earlier, the 1884 San Francisco, this one is a perfect example of why someone would crack open a slab that graded a coin in the AU50 only to resubmit it for a possible MS grade. That 1884S Morgan dollar in AU50 will go for just over $200. But as soon as you get to that MS60, it flies up and over seven grand. And it only goes up higher from there. So that is a real good reason to be looking to try to regrade, get a higher grade than it, and go from the AU to the MS. Now the 1889 Carson City, that is the first one so far that starts off above a thousand dollars in a VF. And it does not disappoint in higher grades. It just skyrockets all the way through. The 1892S has over 1 million coins minted. But when you go from an AU to MS, the price skyrockets like crazy. You wouldn't believe it. From just under $1,500 in the AU to over $40,000 in that MS. Now, pretty much any mint mark on an 1893 Morgan is going to be a better date, but the 1893S is the date. There's only 100,000 of them minted, and it will start off at a $5,000 bill in a VF grade. Now, as I said before, there are a bunch of dates and a bunch of mints that start off decently low, but explode in a higher grade. So I thought I would just list a few of them here for you. Some of them I already mentioned, but we'll just run through them real quick and let you all know, keep an eye out for them. The 1879 Carson City, 1880 New Orleans, or O, 1883S, 1884S, 1886O, 1892S, 1894O, 1896O, and 1897O. Now, last but not least, the 1901. This one will start off at a simple $50 in a VF condition. But it quickly hits thousands with an S. Thousands. As soon as you get to the MS-60. Then you get to hundreds 
with an S again, hundreds of thousands of dollars when you get to the MS-65. That is a huge jump in price. But that's enough talk about our ladies, the uh, Morgan dollars. Now we're going to get into the peace dollar. Believe it or not, the peace dollar was a commemorative coin. And it was issued without congressional sanction using the Pittman Act. Although the first year the peace dollar was 1921, they were not placed into circulation until the very beginning of 1922. And they ran all the way through until 1935. So for the first year, 1921, the peace dollar had a high relief. But it ended up being impractical for coinage intended for circulation. So in 1922, the design was modified for a low or shallow relief. And because of this, the 1921 peace dollar is a highly sought after coin that can start at a bit over $100 in a VF condition and end up close to $2,000 in MS-65. There really is only one other year that commands a nice price in a lower grade. And that would be the 1928 Philadelphia minted peace dollar. And in a VF condition, it will go for nearly $300. But similarly to some of the Morgans that we already talked about, this one doesn't move much in price with higher grades. Now, here are some dates that do have huge price jumps in higher grades. The 1924 San Francisco will go from an $800 bill in an MS-64 to nearly $6,000 in an MS-65. That is a pretty substantial jump just for one grade. The big leap is a 1925 San Francisco. And that one goes from a $600 bill in an MS-64 to a crazy $25,000 when it goes to MS-65. That is like, like 40 times in, in price. Is it wow? So again, that would be another huge reason to crack it out of a, a case that is already marked as a MS-64, such as like this one. It's not the same coin, of course. But you go from an MS-64 and you try to resubmit it to get a MS-65. A lot of people have spent a lot of money doing that and never reached that goal. Some people have, and they've really made out with it. But pretty much every San Francisco minted peace dollar from 1923 on through have higher prices in the MS conditions. So, there we go. We just wrapped up pretty much all of the dollars in three episodes. And it's been pretty crazy. Some high dollar amounts on some of them. Been able to see some really nice coins here and there. And uh, some of my calls that I have. This is just one of my uh, junk silver uh, Morgans there. Got my, my other Morgans. Some of them are for sale. Some of them aren't. Look at that toning. Oh, man, I got to get it just right again. I just saw it. There it is. That beautiful blue in there. Red. You can see the yellows. All right. So there we go. Every common constitutional silver coin, including the dimes, quarters, half dollars, and the dollars, have all been covered in this whole series so far. 
Now, I would be lying if I had said I didn't have fun doing it. And definitely learned a lot of things along the way. In fact, I kind of don't want the series to end. So, as I've mentioned before in some other videos, I have a question for you all. I would love for everyone to answer, if you could, please. Would you like to see another episode? And this one would cover all the odd silver coins. And I'm talking about the three cent silver piece, also known as a trime. I'd go over all that. Then I'd talk a little bit about the war nickels. Nice example here. Maybe talk a little bit about the half dimes. And then the 20 cent pieces. And then we've also got 40% half dollars. And that's another nice one right here. And then, believe it or not, there's some Ike dollars that are silver as well. So we can cover all those. But let me know. Would you guys like to see another episode covering our odd silver pieces? And you can do that by leaving a comment down below. I'd really like to know. But for now, this is Silver Scrounger saying thanks for watching and keep on stacking. I want to thank everyone for watching my video. It is greatly appreciated. If you enjoyed it, found it informative or entertaining, please hit that thumbs up button by liking the video. Also, comment on what you think about anything discussed. I'm always interested in to hear other people's thoughts. Until next time, this is Silver Scrounger saying thanks for watching and keep on stacking.